This is an interesting signal. I'm out here with Daniel. He's way over there. I dug around and this thing was showing up iron audio. I mean, as iron as well as uh, high tone and everything else. And there's the coin. I don't know what it is. And my phone's ringing. So. Okay, there. It is nickel size. And it may be a standard issue nickel. Let me wet it and love on a little bit. All right, there it is. Got it clean. Let me see if this is any different. Hang on, I'm testing something myself. I think that's good. It is an 1870 something shield nickel. That's awesome. I've never dug one before. What's awesome about it is my bride dug one and we gave it to the landowner. Hang on, I'm trying to get my... Actually, I'm just gonna stick it in my pocket. Isn't it awesome? I thought it was a V at first, but it's not. It's a shield. Awesome. I hollered at Daniel a few times. He don't care because he's digging his own stuff. Since that shield nickel was ringing up iron, I got a 38 to 40 right here in the side of this bank. I don't know if you can tell it's a bank. Sometimes, you know, you talk about how steep hills are and all that in videos. When you're looking at it on a video, you can't tell. I know I brought a pinpointer. We gotta dig a tunnel. Well, this thing's reading in the 40s. Struggling here. Let me locate it again. Different hole. This one turns out to be a nail. The other one turned up nothing. This rang up like the shield nickel did in the 40s. The hard thing about being out in the woods and metal detecting is uh, you can't just dip your hand in the water. I'm gonna hang on to that whatever that is. We'll look at it better later. Just so happens to be a little bit of water in sight, which is awesome because I got an 80 signal right here. Where this snake lives. And you know what we find in water is stuff. Once you move the rocks. Oh, it's so deep. I hope it's not a, uh, but it didn't, uh, it didn't ring up strong like a can would. I'm gonna move this rock. We got too much stuff in the way. We've been tricked, we've been had, we've been converted. It is an iron. It's not a washer, it's a little offset. That may be a, a washer. Either way, nobody swung a detector right here before, have they? I got a 72 right here. Maybe a uh, simple pull tab. 
or a library or that. Who knows? I've been digging right here, flipping stuff up with this 40 signal, and there it is. What do you think that is? Piece out of a watch? That's cool, isn't it? You gotta love shapes. I love shapes. Thank you, Becky. Seventy nine to ninety nine. I know that means iron, but that's about what that V nickel rang up. I mean, it hit iron a couple times for some reason. This is deep, so we're gonna have to really harvest and get some thoroughfare here, get some channel flotation, flotation. Right here, let's see if the signal's any better now. Sixties to eighties, but still really deep. I'm gonna try a couple of scoops with the magic looking glass on. And if we don't harvest, then we're going to, uh, I'm gonna turn the camera off and have a play date all by myself. Okay, we're there. Oh, there's so many rocks. alongside this rock, whatever it is. I can't get it, that rock. Oh my goodness. It's kind of moving, but. It's in a crack. What do we do about cracks? We scratch them. Right? It's definitely right there. The crack. Oh my goodness. Where are you? It's right there. This rock. Golly jeepers. Make as much noise as you can in the camera. That way, no way. No one can enjoy it. I won't ever find it now. Good job, thanks. <laughs> I got to get this out of here. The rock is out. Signal's a lot more scratchy now. Ah, oh, it's not a high tone anymore. We gotta really get some uh, dirt out of here and some of this backwash.
want to find it with you. Okay, it's out. It's right here. <laughs> I lost it again. Has an awesome nail. It was well worth removing that rock for. Thanks. Got a 6061. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Right here. Now, this may be. A pull tab. It wasn't that deep. Where'd it go? over there pull tab better Daniel he, he wants to see my little coin he thought it was a bottle cap yeah I'm telling you that thing rang up high at first then the closer I got it hit 40s then you could do the iron audio and it read up as iron and then there it was it's got a lot of detail on it which I don't feel like a nickel that's the only way I dig them all right he's got a signal we're hoping. On mine it was 60 something to 74 and then it slapped the 40s. Oh, you already got it out. Let me play. Yeah, go ahead. Piece of iron. What's your showing? You think so? Yeah. No, that's still in the same range. Really? Yeah. Might be a shotgun stamp or trash. Shotgun shells pretty clear in the 40s. I mean talking about 40s and 50s. Hey, it can be anything as long as it ain't a nail. Feels a little heavier. Get that dirt out of there, we'll see what it is. Oh, there it is. Looks like a little fire piece of lead. See, I found one of those in the creek. Yeah, it's an old one. That's pretty. You gonna keep it? Put it on a necklace? All right, that wasn't it. He did some subsequent swingulation and I believe he's gonna take that nail out of there for everybody. Just give me a nickel. It's another piece of lead. I don't know, man. That thing's chewy. Yeah, another fired bullet. Huh. Two, two, Bullet, same hole. Well, that's good. I got a pretty good iron signal. Right there. Okay. Nothing we can identify. Give me that. Thanks. Daniel's way up there. I'm right here. He said around in here he found a half dime. So I'm gonna really spend a little more time than he did and try to find the other half. It's gotta be here. Right here, amidst these piles, 
and piles of poison ivy roots. I believe I have located the other half of his dime. It's an odd signal when you get half a dime. It's right there. You know, a whole dime will give you a good 80s every now and then. Half dime, you can't really, you can't really trust it. Trust the signals. Where's the button on here? Yeah, it works. It was deep. And it still is. Sometimes you gotta shuffle the flavor. If you want to savor. There it is. That's probably worth half dime. It's a top of a square now. I'm back in the creek. I got a 70s or 80s right there. I know this is a pretty good wash up zone. So it could be simply nothing, but I kicked it and it came over here. Oh, there it is. It is simply that. It's simply irresistible. I'm working on a deep 45 here. I'm hoping it's at least a head stamp. It's not. That's it. Getting away from the road. He thinks he's on an Indian head right here. Tell me if you can guess what this is. It's got a serious stench. Very. Yeah, it's soothing. Calms me down. He's gonna uh, dig a pull tab. You ain't kidding. I don't know, he's been... There it is. It's the Indian. It's the Indian pull tab. God, it stinks the more you dig it. Well, don't judge, just a pull tab. Oh, it's just right there. Beautiful. What is that nail? What year is that? Oh, that's oh, that ain't that. That's a screw. I'm gonna give it a 1975. I'm gonna throw up. This is bad. Really? Breathe deep. It's good for you. That's what we used to tell people in Belgium. As good as it smells, I got an awesome 70 signal right here. But it's in the sludge, so it's probably. Don't worry about that. It's probably a piece of a can. If it was not a piece of a can, it would be deeper than that. Oh my goodness, it's a ring, dude. That is a ring, yes. It is a ring. And the sludge, man. In the absolute stench. That is a ring. Look at that. That is straight up 1800s. Straight up. This is the zone. Oh, man, look at that. Nobody has... It is, ain't it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think maybe it's old copper. OC. People say I like OCD. That's occupational consideration disorder. I consider being occupied. 
Look at that in the sludge, man. It's an oldie. It wasn't on the bottom or anything. Can I play with it? Or are you gonna hog it? Oh, here. I'm just kidding. Man, I'm just kidding. You hold all you want. I'm taking um, it home. What do you think that is on there? Some sort of a some design, I'm sure. Well, no, that's cheapening it. Give me something greater than that. Unbelievable. That's worth cleaning up. Yeah, I'm not, it is. I'm not gonna do anything to hurt it. It's old. I might take <clears> it to a uh, professional jeweler and see if they can clean it up. I'm not sweating. I'm not sweating. You must be spitting upside down then. Awesome, man. Man, that's awesome. That was the 70s to 80s. So <laughs> I need to get a. I got a really deep 80s or 90s, same spot. There he is. I'm playing in the sled with you. You got to, man. It's Nobody wants to get in here because of the stenches. This is where the toys are. Oh. Huh? I said, please pull another ring out. Huh? Ring out. He's always trying to tell me what to do. drug it over here. I'm gonna remove the pileation. Put, oh. I need to swing over it again. I got a good 55 to 60 right there where I kicked that little pile of wad over, but check out this lumberjack. Aren't they pretty? I saw one on a tree a minute ago, it was about that long, but it was a big black millipede, I believe. And this wasn't that deep, but oh, it ain't deep at all. I got to break out the shovel because I put these fingers in my mouth. I don't know about you. I might find a tree in a minute and hit the litter box. <laughs> he, he said that to me earlier. <laughs> I thought, man, that's the funniest thing I've heard. He said, he said, man, you gotta go to the litter box before we leave. <laughs> First time I heard that joke, I thought of you. Did you really? Yeah. Share it. <laughs> I gotta dig another ring and you're you're hindering my creativity. <laughs> I don't know if you ever smelled those little glass stink bombs that you can break in class. Oh, what is it gonna be? That's what it smells like. There it is. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Brand spanking new, and I could absolutely explode it on a rock right now. But there's no rocks in here except for that one. I don't have a choice. It is a... That is a bullet. It ain't in there anymore, is it? He gave up on the stink hole. I play in the litter box all day long. This might be a can. Picking it up so high. The 70s. 
Oh, I gotta go wash my hands. Get it out and show us. It's right here in the gravel. I feel stuff. I gotta get some flow here. Don't give up on me. All right, I'm gonna pull up the piles and then uh, look for. I changed my mind. I start swung over it again. There's a good high tone right here. A good high tone right here. Maybe it's a can. Somebody threw over the side. I know you're tired of it. The beeping does get old. If I had another pinpointer in my hand, Stop that. That is a nail. I see mosquito larva in there. He thought it was a parasite, but I only see one. I'm pretty sure. Are we still in the heart of the fight here? I'm gonna show you something while he digs a hole. Ooh. Creepy, huh? Check this out. Yeah, this was probably a cellar. Root cellar, flower cellar, I don't know. What are they selling? Well, everything fine. Did you find something yet? I was just gonna escort you so you don't fall in. I have to call Aaron. Oh, the uh, big... Uh... Yeah. This thing. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. Like an underground silo. Can you imagine digging that? Nope. You know, it should really be. Not me. It should be covered, you know what? Yeah. You know what, ain't my place to come stir things up. But man. Okay, let's dig a hole. All the big vines that look like uh, pieces of wire are wisteria and they're covering everything Def Leppard wrote a song they had an album called wisteria i think it's one of their best he, he dug a button already yeah oh, neat man it is fragile huh yeah you could put that on your tongue like a communion thing and it just disappear i'm getting ate up by mosquitoes i just dug this solid 50s i thought it was a pocket knife but it's not
don't know what it is. I'm gonna harvest it. Just in case. There was electrical up here. Proof. Mosquitoes are horrible. There are walls and foundations everywhere. It's awesome. I don't know where he went. I could be mistaken. All these vines may be poison sumac or cow itch. You can see it going up that big pine. I don't know where he went. I got a fair signal right there, but he said he has found an underwear button. And I'm wondering if there's one like I found in the creek the other day. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's lead. Okay, mine isn't like that. That's neat, man. And then I also found a tick in the same hole. That's cool, too. You should put the tick in like a necklace. I got a spot. Last signal I'm digging. I thought it was copper. It may still be. I'm not sure. Thanks for watching my videos. What is it? Aluminum? I guess that's what that is. Last signal for him, I guess. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my videos.